Hello everyone. Welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. Myself Muhammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro really fast. So the topic of today's video is 15 things you must do after installing WordPress. So without any further ado, let's get started. Number 1 change the title and tagline well if you know tagline is like a one liner like different brand have different tagline like we have nike adidas and we have different other brands which have their one liner and that one liner is called tagline so i will show you that how you can change your tagline and your title so go to your dashboard from dashboard go to your settings and as you can see we have different options here i'll go to my general one so here you can see this is the title of my website which is skills build and this is the tagline so what you can do here you can change the site title and you can have different tagline for your website i'm okay with my site title i'm not going to change it in terms of tagline i will write here we provide quality so this is the tagline for my website which i'm going with so this is how you can set your title and your tagline after that just scroll down and then just save your changes number 2 change profile settings there are a lot of tweaks or you can say lot of things which you must add it in your profile to get the best look for your website for that just go to your username which is right here and then click on edit profile so these are different things which you can do with your website this is the color scheme which is the default one and you can go with any one of these so here you have a different option for your wordpress i am going with midnight after that scroll down and here you can see it says username and if you see here it also says zusan and here it also says zusan what you can do you can write your first name and last name and here is your nickname but the most important thing here which i want to discuss is display name as you can see it says zusan this is display name at the moment there is one risk related to it and that is anyone can try this username and they can try a different password on wordpress and there might be a chance that they get access to my wordpress or you can say my website so what they can do after that they can delete my post they can upload different or inappropriate content which can result in fatal losses so what you can do here you can display another name at the moment only zusan is available why is that so because i have not written any other name in these fields so what i'm going to do here i will write here skills build in my nickname i will write zubair and now if i click on this drop down option and here you can see we have different name appeared here so you can select any one of these to display on your website i'm going with zubair and now this name will be displayed on the website and as you can see here now we have zubair appeared here and here you can do a lot of other stuff here is your email then you have website then you can add your twitter facebook accounts and then you have to add your biographical information here you will set password for account management of your website and here you will add your picture whenever people will see your information they will see this picture along with it as well after doing all these just scroll down and click on update profile it will save the changes which you have just made into your website number 3 add seo plugin the abbreviation of seo is search engine optimization which is a technique used by the website owners in order to rank their websites on the google search engine people spend a lot of money for this purpose because if the website on the front page of the google it will have a greater number of visitor and a greater number of visitors mean more business 
WordPress is a SEO friendly platform already. Here I will show you a plugin which is free and you can install and use for your website. For that purpose just go to plugins and here it is and from here click on add new. And here I will search for a plugin which is all in one SEO. Just hit enter and here you can see it is available here. I will just click on install now. At the moment it is installing and after that we will activate it into our website. There are different other SEO tools available as well but a lot of them are paid one. And all in one SEO plugin is also easy to use. So I would suggest you to go with it if you are a beginner. So we are done with the installation process. Now we just need to activate it. So I will just click on it and now it will get activated into our WordPress and eventually into our website. Now here we need to do some settings with respect to our installed plugin. Here it says which category best describes your website. Either it is a blog or you have just created a website for e-commerce or it is something else. I'm going with blog. After that scroll down and here you have to do some other things as well. It says home page title. Click on the tags below to insert a variable into your template. So you can go with anything like you want. First of all, I'll go with site title. Then I want a separator and then I want a tagline into my website. After that, here you have to do some meta description. Meta description mean this is the stuff which describe your website. Usually it is three to four line. So you have to write it here and you will add different information related to it. After that, just click on save and continue. And here it says additional site information. So you can do all of this stuff as per your liking or as per your need with respect to your website. So I will just skip this and I will complete this. So I will see you in the next thing. Number four, disable indexing for your website. As our website is under construction or if we have just started to build our website, we might not want to index our website yet. We might want to wait till our website gets completed because search engine do not know if our website is ready or not for the public. It will start indexing our website. But we need to tell search engine that our website is not completed yet. So here. I will do the same. For that, just go to your settings tab. Here it is. And from here, just go to readings. Just click on it. If you scroll down, here we have an option which says discourage search engine from indexing this site. If you check this one, now search engine will not index our website. And when you are done with completion of your website, you can uncheck this option and you are good to go and search engine will start indexing your website. So after that, just click on save changes and now our changes which we have made will be saved. Number five, attach a contact form to the website. Contact form on a website are one of the quickest ways to get the feedback, questions or suggestions from the customers or website users. So it's like a communication link between you and your audience. So I will show you that how to add a contact form in your website. For that, just go to plugins. Here it is. And after that, just click on add new. Now we need to search for a plugin and that plugin is WP form and just hit enter. And here it is. I will just install it. And after the installation, I will activate it. Number six, added permalink structure. Let me show you one thing. I will go to my website and here I want to show you something. If I click on this hello world, this is a link basically. And as you can see here, it says localhost slash WordPress project, then year, then month, then we have date and then the name of the page. I do not want this because this is not SEO friendly. So I will show you that how you can change it. Go back go to your settings and from here click on permalinks just click on it scroll down and here we have an option which says custom structure above that we have different other options which we can select at the moment it is day and name and as you can see here we have date and name 
and here we also have the same thing but i want to go with custom structure so what i will do i will select different things which i want into my permalinks i want to go with category so first of all i will select all this and i will delete this and now i will select category and after that i'm going to select post name so i will just click on it and now my permalink will look something like this wordpress project category and then we will have our post name after that just scroll down and click on save changes and now if i reload my this page and here you can see we do not have date or any other stuff here we have things which we have just selected into our permalink structure as we are here so let's do one more thing related to this number seven edit the category at the moment as you can see the default category for all the posts on my website is uncategorized and if i upload any new thing it will be uncategorized as well by default so what i need to do here i need to make a category here so that whenever i do a post it should be categorized or should go into some category i will go into my post section and then i'll click on categories and here as you can see it says uncategorized from here click on edit and here we will name our category i will name it as home and in slug i will again write home but make sure you write it in lowercase letter when you write slug information after that you can add your description here and different other things and after that scroll down and just click on update so we are done with the category now if i go back and here if i reload my page and here you can see it says home now earlier it was uncategorized so this is how easy it is number eight add a five icon well as you can see we have a small icon on our tab basically this is a five icon if I open any other website, let me open google.com and here you can see we have a small icon over it as well and this is again a fav icon. So what you can do, you can add one for your website. For that purpose, just go to your dashboard again and here I'll go to my appearance and from appearance I'll go to my customize and here we have an option which says site identity. I will just click on it and down here we have an option which says select site icon if you click on it here you will have an option to upload a file or icon for your website so if you click on it what it will do it will take you to your system and from there you can upload an icon for your website number nine edit blacklist there is a lot of chance that some people might spam your website for example, if some users come to your website and in the comment section, they use really negative word for you and because of that, it can result in spamming of your website or they might upload or they might comment some links which are illegal and because of that, your website might result into spamming. To avoid these type of thing, we can add a list of words which we do not want to appear on our website. Here is our setting and here I will click on discussions. If you scroll down, here we have a section which says disallow command keys. So what you can do, you can write those words which you do not want to see onto your website. And here is the detail of it. It says when a comment contains any of these in it content, author name, URL, email, IP address or browser's user agent string, it will be put in the trash. Number 10. Enable comments. If you do not see the comments under your post on your website, that is a problem because it means either your post is not interesting or is not worth commenting. But there can be one more issue and that is your comments might be disabled by default. So you enable it in order to get the people's response. To enable your comments on your websites in WordPress, just go to settings. Here it is. From there, go to discussions. And here we have an option which says allow people to submit comments on new posts. I have enabled it, but if in your case it is not enabled, you can enable it by just clicking on this checkbox. Down here, we have different other options which we can do related to comment setting. Here it says comment author must fill out name and email. Mean before 
adding a comment, user must add his or her name and email address. And then we have users must be registered and log in to comment. It means only those people will be allowed to comment which are part of our website or have account on our website. And then we have different other options of which you can choose as per your liking or as per your requirements. Number 11. Install Caching Some of you might have the idea about what caching is. Search engines consider site speed to be an important factor search ranking. So it is better to have a caching plugin into your website. So I will add one. For that, just go to your plugins and click on add new. And here I will search for one plugin. The one which I'm going to search is WP Super Cache plugin. Just hit enter. And here it is. Here we have WP Super Cache. Just click on install. We are done with the installation. Now we just need to activate it. So I will just click on it. By default, it might not be enabled into our website. So to enable it, we will just go to our settings. Here it is. And here I will go to WP Super Cache. If you scroll down at the moment, as you can see, it is off. I will click on caching on and now it is enabled. After that, update the status to save the changes. And now let's move ahead. Number 12, enable registration. By default, the registration is disabled, so we have to enable it. This is really important for the membership websites or some e-commerce websites which offers you the membership. But people will not be able to register with your website until and unless you have allowed them to do so. To do that, go to your settings, here it is, and then go to general, I will just click on it, and if you scroll down here, as you can see, it says membership and at the moment it is not enabled. So just click on it and now people will be able to register with our website. After that, just click on save changes and we are good to go. Number 13. Optimize WordPress. Having plugins into your website is a good thing, but sometimes having a lot of plugins might play the role of a hurdle. I would recommend you to install not more than 10 or 11 plugins into your website. And here I would suggest you some of the very best plugins which you should install to get the best and optimal performance. For security of your website, I would recommend you to install security plugin. For backup purposes, I would recommend you to use Updraft Plus. So this is how by installing the only important plugins, you can have the best performance from your website. Number 14. Uninstall default plugins. By default, we get two plugins pre-installed into our WordPress. For that, just go to plugins, here it is, and then click on install plugins. We get Akismet anti-spam and Holly Dolly by default. And these are the one which I have installed on my own. You can delete these two plugins from your WordPress. This plugin is a good one, but Holly Dolly is not that important or you can say is not worth it. So I will just delete this one. For that, just click on this button which says delete. And to make sure, just click on OK. And as you can see, our plugin just got deleted. Number 15 delete the sample content as you can see this is the content which is by default on my website at the moment and this is the sample content now i will delete it because i want to have my own content on my website but before that i need to delete it so what i will do i will go back from here i'll go to my post and then all post just click on it and here you can see we have hello world and down here we have an option which says trash just click on it and now our sample content just got deleted from our website and if i go to my home page here it is and here you can see we do not have any content available here and that is mean we have successfully deleted the sample content and that brings us to the end of today's video i hope you have learned a lot of new things related to wordpress and if that is the case, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon as well. If you have something to ask, please leave a comment below. We will get back to you as soon as possible. We will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.